Chapter 1 Introduction The problem is not how to wipe out the differences, but how to unite with the differences intact. Rabindranath Tagore One point one. The Constitution of India guarantees equality of all citizens. However, persons with disabilities (PWDs) due to socio-psychological and cultural reasons face stigma, discrimination, and neglect. There is a widespread underestimation of the abilities and potential of persons with disabilities due to general public perception and prejudices thereby creating a vicious cycle of underachievement. This in turn results in various complexities among them which further harms their growth. Concerted efforts have been made to demystify the meaning of disability and fight myths and misconceptions of disability. There is a need to keep new ideas alive every day so that old negative attitudes and perceptions do not assert themselves. 1.2 The 2011 census puts the number of persons with disabilities at 2.68 crores implying 2.21% of Indian population has some form of disability as compared to global average of 15%. With the coming into force of the Rights of Persons with Disabilities Act 2016, which recognizes 21 categories of disabilities, the number of persons with disabilities in the country is expected to increase significantly. 1.3 Meanwhile, the Department of Empowerment of Persons with Disabilities, Government of India, also started implementing the unique disability ID UDID project for creating a national database for persons with disabilities based on certification by competent authorities. By the end of 2022, the database is expected to give a real-time data on PWDs which will be comparable with other countries on many parameters. One point five. Our constitution guarantees freedom, justice, and dignity of all citizens, including persons with disabilities, without any discrimination, which implies an inclusive society for all. Article forty one of the Constitution of India, relating to right to work, to education, and to public assistance in certain cases states that the state shall, within the limits of its economic capacity and development, make effective provision for securing the right to work, to education and to public assistance in cases of unemployment, old age, sickness and disablement and in other cases of undeserved want. Further. Relief to persons with disabilities is a state subject by virtue of entry 9 of list 2 of the constitution. Welfare of PWDs also figures in 11th and 12th schedules of the constitution pertaining to panchayats and municipalities respectively. 1.6 Disability was earlier viewed only from medical perspective. Over the years, there has been a paradigm shift in understanding disability worldwide and today it is viewed as a socio-medical issue.
education, employment, access to buildings, transport and information systems have in the past been difficult for persons with disabilities to access. The persons with disabilities, Equal Opportunities, Protection of Rights and Full Participation Act 1995 was the first law in the country for creating an inclusive environment for persons with disabilities which recognized only seven categories of disabilities namely locomotor disability, blindness, low vision, hearing impairment, leprosy cured, mental illness and mental retardation. 1.7 In 2006, central government formulated the national policy for persons with disabilities. It recognizes that persons with disabilities are a valuable human resource for the country and seeks to create an environment that provides them equal opportunities, protection of their rights and full participation in society. The policy is based on the principles of equality, freedom, justice and dignity of all individuals as enshrined in the constitution. It implicitly mandates an inclusive society for all, including persons with disabilities. The policy also recognizes the fact that a majority of persons with disabilities can lead a better quality of life if they have equal opportunities and effective access to rehabilitation measures. 1.8. The principal areas of intervention under the existing policy are early identification and intervention, rehabilitation, human resource development, education, employment, barrier-free environment, social protection, research, sports, recreation, and cultural activities. 1.9 In 2007, India became a party to the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, UNCRPD, which is based on the following principles. A. Respect for inherent dignity, individual autonomy, including the freedom to make one's own choices and independence of persons. B. Non-discrimination. C. Full and effective participation and inclusion in society. D. Respect for difference and acceptance of persons with disabilities as part of human diversity and humanity. E. Equality of opportunity. F. Accessibility. G. Equality between men and women. And H. Respect for the evolving capacities of children with disabilities and respect for the right of children with disabilities to preserve their identities. 1.10 Universal inclusion of all vulnerable groups, including persons with disabilities, in the mainstream activities are reflected in the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development Goals adopted by United Nations in 2015 that seeks to promote peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development. Access to justice for all. Building effective, accountable and inclusive institutions at all levels. Promoting sustained and inclusive economic growth. Full and productive employment and decent work for all. Building resilient, inclusive and accessible infrastructure. Ensuring healthy life and promote well-being for all in all age groups 
ensuring inclusive and equitable quality education and promoting lifelong learning opportunities for all. 1.11 India is also a party to the INCHEON strategy for Asia Pacific decade for PWDs 2013-2022 prepared under the aegis of UNESCAP which identifies 10 goals for the Asia Pacific countries to ensure inclusion and empowerment of PWDs in the region. These goals aim at one reducing poverty and enhancing work and employment prospects, two promoting participation in political processes and in decision making. Three, enhancing access to the physical environment, public transportation, knowledge, information and communication. Four, strengthening social protection. Five, expanding early intervention and education of children with disabilities. Six, ensuring gender equality and women's empowerment. 7. Ensuring disability inclusive disaster risk reduction and management. 8. Improving the reliability and comparability of disability data. 9. Accelerating ratification and implementation of UNCRPD and harmonizing national legislation with it. 10. Advancing sub-regional, regional and inter-regional cooperation. 1.12 there are four national legislations dealing with persons with disabilities namely rehabilitation council of india act 1992 national trust for the welfare of persons with autism cerebral palsy mental retardation and multiple disabilities act 1999 the rights of persons with disabilities act 2016 and Mental Health Care Act 2017. Out of these, the first three legislations are dealt by the Union Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment and the fourth by the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. One point thirteen. One of the obligations under UNCRPD and INCHEON strategy goals is to align the domestic law in line with the provisions of the UN Convention. Accordingly, the Rights of Persons with Disabilities Act 2016 was enacted on 28th December 2016 which came into force from 19th April 2017. The Act recognizes new spectrum of disabilities and provides various rights and entitlements for persons with disabilities with safeguards for protection of such rights. 1.14 in view of Government of India's strong commitment to the empowerment of persons with disabilities, the Department of Empowerment of Persons with Disabilities was created in 2012 under the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment 
to give greater emphasis on policy issues and implementation of schemes and programs for persons with disabilities. 1.15 To achieve its aims and objectives, there is a strong institutional framework of the department which consists of Office of Chief Commissioner for Persons with Disabilities, Rehabilitation Council of India, National Trust for the Welfare of Persons with Autism, Cerebral Palsy, Mental Retardation and Multiple Disabilities, and nine national institutes dedicated to different disabilities. Regional and district level centers for persons with disabilities and composite regional centers. These organizations are involved in providing rehabilitation services, education, training and research, regulation and developmental activities. The department's two central public sector enterprises, viz. Artificial Limbs Manufacturing Corporation Limited. and National Handicapped Finance Development Corporation are involved in manufacture of aids and assistive devices and providing financial assistance for economic empowerment of PWDs respectively. C. Scheme for Implementation of Persons with Disabilities Act SIPDA provides grant and aid to state governments, organizations of central state governments, including autonomous bodies and universities, for creating barrier-free access to their buildings, making websites accessible, early intervention, awareness generation, skill development, etc. D. Umbrella scholarship schemes for students with disabilities such as pre-matric class 9 to 10, post-matric class 11 onwards up to PG level, top class education, studies at national level educational institution of repute, fellowships, MPhil and PhD, overseas scholarships, for studying at reputed institutions abroad and free coaching for preparing for competitive examination for admission into professional courses at reputed institutions and for employment. 1.17 The real challenge is achieving full accessibility, inclusion and empowerment for persons with disabilities. The government, both central and state, and various stakeholder need to work together to accomplish this task of making the right real. The new policy for persons with disabilities needs to address the following challenges to ensure their inclusion and empowerment. Changing the mindset and perception of members of the society so as to have proper understanding of the problems of persons with disabilities. Infusing self-esteem and self-confidence in the persons with disabilities themselves so that they know that their limitations can be overcome to a large extent by self-effort and better environment.
creating an accessible environment in built infrastructure, transportation system, ICT ecosystem, and other facilities and services by adopting universal designing principles through appropriate technology adoption. Creating and managing disability specific disaggregated data in each sector, be it health, education, poverty alleviation, law and order, sports, culture, etc. Ensuring interoperability of disability certificates for availing the benefits meant for PWDs across all states, union territories and ministries departments. Improving the knowledge and skills of persons with disabilities to make them capable of handling different tasks in the employment market. Motivating various employers within and outside government sector to employ the PWDs who can perform a number of jobs like other employees. Mobilizing the voluntary sector to actively participate in the capacity building and rehabilitation and empowerment of PWDs. Scaling the levels of training, education and research for the benefit of PWDs. Providing a mechanism for greater social security coverage and other arrangements for making PWDs live with dignity. Providing them with appropriate assistive devices and appliances at low cost to increase their accessibility. Involving PWDs in the decision making process at various levels for better policy formulation, monitoring and implementation. Making all out efforts to comply with all the general principles contained in the UNCRPD. Resource mobilization at the state and central level for undertaking disability specific inclusive activities. Providing appropriate mechanism at all levels for ensuring well coordinated efforts amongst various stakeholders. Coordinated efforts at reducing the disabilities. Promoting inclusive education. Priority in healthcare. Focus priority during natural national disasters. Ensuring the rights of PWDs. Equal opportunities at work and socio-cultural and recreational activities. Sensitization and awareness generation program about the needs of PWDs. 1.18 There is also a need to synergize the policy with the international instruments, namely UNCRPD, Incheon Strategy, Sustainable Development Goals and New Domestic Laws.